flatulence. And welcome back to Janky AF and my janky life. All right, we're up at the, the fabulous million dollar view and we call it that because it's up on a dead end hill here. And uh, boy, it's got quite the view of the valley below. It's where the sun rises every morning. You can see a, a misty fog out there and it's just gorgeous. So uh, sorry, I'm not mic'd up. This is sort of an impromptu episode, but I came out here. Um, this, so this is a rental property um, and well, without getting too much into it, I've had to put uh, more work into it than, um, you know, the rent has managed to accrue. We had to dig up this entire foundation, basically, which costs a lot of money. But you know what? I'm not complaining whatsoever. The fact that I have this property, it's going to be a long-term investment, and a lot of people don't have access to capital and can't even fathom of endeavoring in something like this that I have. So even though it's been a source of stress and so far it's, uh, you know, <laughs> not been the, the uh, business venture that I thought it would be, uh, I'm not, again, I'm not complaining um, because it is the million dollar view and it's always been a dream of mine to have a little uh, property like this. And uh, we painted it last year. And of course we put the mismatched trim on all of the windows there. You know, in true janky style, every window is a different color. So uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful, beautiful view out here. And I am far from complaining about it. But it's not as glamorous or as glorious as it looks either. So that's the reality of it. So the main point of coming out here, or, or of this video anyways, was we pick up the, the recyclables for the tenant. Was I got a great comment from and I apologize that I'm uh, blanking on your name right now. Maybe I'll put it in the in the video. But uh, they suggested that I pick up some shelving to help organize uh, the basement that I've been working on. And not only did I love this comment because it was great constructive criticism, they made a great point. Like when you're like a hoarder, you don't think about what the mess that you make that other people are going to have to uh, pick up after you're gone. And you know. I'm still uh, you know, a growing young boy, as they say, but I'm also not a spring chicken. This is uh, my great buddy Ken's ladder that I'm storing for him. And fortunately I left it outside, but it's fiberglass, it'll be fine. But I'm gonna move it inside for him just so um, it's inside. Okay, trigger warning. <laughs> if you're triggered by hoarding tendencies, then look out. Uh, as we have uh, on my great uh, electric lawnmower. That thing is so cool. It, it did break once, but they fixed it under warranty. So very appreciative of that. The old dryer broke, so I ripped that out. I got a new dryer for free, of course, because that's how we do things. A very saintly uh, lady who's been, you know, a family friend forever. She replaced her washer and dryer. So I got a free dryer, which the tenant was very happy about. Okay, so the problem, problem, one of the problems with being a hoarder is that after people know that you have a ton of crap and that you have a, you know, if you're, if you're like a good hoarder, then you've actually figured out a way to store a lot of your crap is they will dump more crap on you. So this Volvo, this beautiful Volvo that I've had to get running several times now and this beautiful uh, 1985 Chevy El Camino, which is a true SS, but it's had an engine swap and it's had, you know, this like rhino, 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 rhino lining put on it. I am storing these for a friend and, you know, I am making a, a modest rent on their storage, but to be honest with you, um, it's just more, you know, it's, it's more stuff. And because it's more stuff, it's less room I have to organize. This is the great toilet hall. I will be releasing a video eventually on uh, a Ford Transit Connect that I reviewed while moving 30 some odd toilets. Uh, we have some both, uh, you know, artistic toilets that we've painted. Shout out to WAMC, our local public radio station. They actually never got back to me. I wanted to donate that to them. So they're a loss, I guess. And then we have some like just purple toilets, very rare, or not rare, but somewhat rare uh, models here. The UN Sustainable Development Goals. That one, uh, you know, still waiting for someone to take that too. We have a nice little pony that I found on the side of the road. My sweetheart rides ponies. I was gonna make that a weather vane. Still might at some point, perhaps on this barn, but. Obviously, this is like, you know, there's Edgar, Edgar uh, Martinez, 
Great uh, player for the Seattle Mariners. The random stuff that you just collect is insane. This is a train off of a set of a, um, a TV show that I got also actually from a good buddy, Ken. So I'm not sure if he's supposed to, uh, maybe there was an NDA there, but I don't think anyone will figure it out. Uh, there's a you know box spring there. This is the roof rack off my Ford Transit that uh, I still have to sell at some point in the spring. Hopefully we'll get there. So just a little taste of, I made this toilet for regular car reviews. I don't know if you watch that channel. And they actually emailed me back. And then I got a little like, I do this sometimes where I, I not, didn't like really, this is an actual tail light from a Ford Falcon. And if you uh, follow regular car reviews, they used to have a, a Ford Falcon. So I thought that was pretty cool and I offered to give it to them. So if you, anyone knows anybody, then, you know, the offer's still on the table, but uh, it was sort of a, got, the exchange got a bit awkward because I think I kind of, um, I, I, I talk too much sometimes and I kind of wrote too much and uh, I think it, whatever. So anyways, here is my uh, 1986 Ford Aerostar, the pride and joy of the fleet, uh, hot and spicy. And uh, it's currently storing a mattress that uh, I had to get out of the lower apartment to put a bigger one in. My 1995 Buick LeSabre, this is sort of a mini fleet update actually. And uh, so my LeSabre, which uh, also pride and joy of the fleet, that unfortunately has been dearly neglected. Um, and again, sort of product of being a hoarder. When you have too much stuff, you can't even, you just, you're, you're, you're always in acquisition. And so the actual, you know, sort of uh, rehabilitation and usage of the things, uh, you know, kind of goes out the window sometimes, but we're working on that. We're fixing that. We're, we're, this is what this series is about is sort of like doing something about my janky life. So we'll never not be janky, but hopefully we won't be quite as stanky, if that makes sense. This is a sunglass holder from the general store in our village. It's a historical artifact and you can't tell me otherwise. And uh, eventually this will go back into the shop and it's a sunglass holder. And I'm so glad to have this because that, that general store was a real, uh, you know, sorely missed uh, sort of pill pillar of our dear village that we live in. Obviously there's just toilets everywhere. And uh, this is a door from a Fiat X19. So when I bought my parts car, I negotiated into the deal an extra hood and an extra door. The hood's over there somewhere, but I won't walk all the way over there. So uh, a great door. I could probably sell it for parts at some point, but again, like everything else, we're just holding on to it. So today we're going to try, try to take this shelf off here, clear this ping pong nonsense off of here. Uh, I do love ping pong. I'm a pretty darn good player if I do say so myself, or at least I was back in the day. Um, again, remnants of the El Camino sitting here. So we're going to clear off this shelf, put it in the Prius, and then we'll have more... Sh oh, almost broke something. We'll have more shelving so we can start to um, get the basement in better working order. And once we were, you know, you got to start somewhere. So this will be like sort of the final frontier. And as this series progresses, you'll see this space just really, you know, get gutted and, and it's going to be much better, I promise. But we're just starting our, jo our journey out of like hoarding. And um, so the first step, get the homestead where we actually live cleaned out, get that organized. And then once that's organized, we can start to purge some of this stuff. Uh, so, you know, there, here's my birds. These are the side of the road. And I, I've had people offer me real money for these things. You know, there, it's not, the thing about hoarding is, you know, it's not like QVC network where I'm just buying stuff off the TV and just like, you know, there's, I got 18 TVs sitting in my house doing nothing. Some of the stuff has value but it's the accumulation and the, the overwhelming of accumulation that paralyzes you and makes you unable to actually do anything about the things that you have. And that's sort of the state we've reached. So we're doing something about it and you are all coming along for the ride. Thank you. I, that, that episode one, crazy, like it popped off. Um, also, I, I, I would be remiss if I, if I the, the wonderful person who commented about the get shelving and organize your space and don't leave your mess for others. I, I don't want to, I mean, it's public. They've, they have it on their, their site. So I don't want to, but I don't want to like blow up their spot too much. So I will just say like, if, if you see that person's comment and you go onto their channel, they have an amazing song um, that has to do with flatulence 
and it's incredible. So shout out to you. That song is amazing. I used to have a musical group who had it's a couple similar songs, so I really identify with that sort of um, uh, songwriting style. And um, oh, janky do thank you is all I can say. Okay, we're at 10 minutes. That means it's time to shut her down. We do these in 10 minute segments. I'll stand here next to my beautiful Buick for a second. And um, it is a great ride. These little sabers are awesome. And we'll get this thing, you know, we're gonna shoot a couple music videos with it and then probably sell it. My broke YouTuber car series. Um, we'll delve more into that. And thank you for watching here on My Janky Life. Until next time, janky do thanky. Flatulence.